All right, so uh, this is going to be a Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and as well a Libra Rising. Weekly general tarot reading February 17th to uh, February 23rd, 2020. And in case any of you guys is uh, interested in a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below. And uh, there you're going to find a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such. So that being said, moving to the first card here, which represents the topic for Libra's week, that is going to be the Eight of Swords, followed by the next one, which stands as the energy, which is supporting of the topic. We have the Ace of Swords. The third card that we have here, it is the challenges that you need and have to overcome. And I mean, I need to stress this one out. You have to overcome them. That is the uh, Wheel of Fortune. Followed by the next one here, which is the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week. That is to be the Ace of Cups. Uh, the, the fifth card that we do have, it is how people are looking at you. What kind of impression you are leaving into the people around. That is to be the uh, King of uh, Cups. And the last one here, it is the guidance that Tower is offering. Not the ideal card I want to see here, but it is what it is. We have the King of Swords. All right, so, uh, well, Libra, an important week, it is what you do have in front of you. Now, those energies, which are the energies of the Eight of Swords, are uh, the Ace of Swords, excuse me, are going to make you think a lot about what you are doing right now and how you are approaching your situations and your life in general. That is because the situation itself points that uh, you are limiting yourself or you are way too biased in terms of certain aspects of your life either career-wise or either relationship-wise okay and when you operate within the framework of those limits you cannot unfold your full potential your personal capabilities either once again career-wise or either once again relationship-wise and the uh, the situations can be numerous, you know, for example, you may be situated or kind of like a, uh, yeah, situated in a job that you can definitely do more with your career. But for one or another reason, you have limited yourself into this job and that week is going to be big awakening. It could be as well that, uh, you know, someone shows interest in you as a uh, potential, you know, lover, but for one or another reason, you have limited yourself to a certain either a uh, concept or criteria, or if you will, a, a biased opinion and do not allowing that person to make you happy. It could be as well the trivial, um, uh, the trivial situation is with exes, all right? So because, because in my country, this is very common here that uh, when something breaks all right so when uh, a boy for example breaks up with the girl even if further down the road the boy kind of realizes that makes mistake the ego starts to speak and the boy may uh, kind of like experience a near may have near that experience you know from that situation is like he is dying to have the girl back the girl wants to get back but the boy does not offer this option because you know ego and because it's self-limits that once broken we're never gonna be um together again so okay so this is what the week is going to be all about identify the limits that you have placed upon yourself career-wise and relationship-wise and this is this is very broad here we're talking about the entirety of life if you will and these cards really kind of like a uh, um, urging you to believe in yourself to believe into the future that you are forsaking for that particular point once again it could be with an ex for example it could be with a uh, person who shows interest it could be with the job dream of uh, the the dream job that you have abandoned chasing for one or another reason bring down those limits you know that you have self imposed upon you and try uh, and try chasing those aspects those enterprises endeavors or people that are really capable to make you happy because guys uh, the truth is only one 
okay for example if someone loves you that is the truth if someone uh if you are good at something that is the truth and that truth is going to set you free if you accept it and if the truth accepting that truth sets you free then what the denial of it makes you right it, it, it makes you a prisoner to your own uh, biased expectations into your own uh, limits that you have set upon you, upon your career, upon your relationship, if you will, upon the people that you are surrounding yourself with, sticking them with labels. Okay, so that week for you, Libra, is going to be a big awakening here, guys. And above everything else, here with those energies as well, it is that you all are going to become completely aware of the reality of the situation and you are going to come up to a lot of truths that you have been ignoring up until this moment so for example you are good at something you can't ignore that thing any longer all right someone loves you you can't ignore that thing any longer you can be happy by doing something you cannot ignore that thing any longer and believe it or not here with those cards um how can I say it? Uh, you are going to uh, become more and more fearless of exploring and doing that option available, I will name it, that is capable to improve drastically the circumstances in your life. And this is why I said that you must overcome the challenge. Because the challenge card, it is the uh, wheel of fortune. And what is the wheel of fortune if it is not the once in a lifetime opportunity to make a, a difference, to change your life into something better, all right? And as a challenging card here points, is especially with the eight of swords, because these two cards are a active friends, okay? You are to have the option or the opportunity to do something about let's say situations that you are not very um, pleased with in your life you, for example you will have the opportunity to start doing what you love to do for a career you will have the opportunity to reconcile with your ex you will have the opportunity to enter in the relationship but because of those self-imposed limits you may miss it so you have to overcome the challenge here once again of skipping missing or being most above everything else ignorant to the grace that the universe gives you the grace of to your life to be put into stir once again because this is what the wheel of fortune is all about it is a once in a lifetime opportunity that makes difference in your life and allows it to change for the better uh, some people name it luck i name it you know a, a natural course of events but once again, as a challenging card, you may miss it if you are stubborn enough in your ways because the Eight of Swords asks you to look outside of the box as well, okay? If you are stubborn enough in your ways and you allow your ego and your uh, biased expectations to dictate your actions and your decision making as well. So what uh, is going to be, what are going to be the gifts and the blessings for you then, Libra? We do have the Ace of Cups and it doesn't get any better than that, guys. Because the Ace of Cups as a gift and blessing, it is that um, it, gives, it gifts you the circumstances required. So the problems that you are concerned over are no longer going to be relevant for you. But that happens only if you, once again, you are not stubborn in your ways and you actually have the awareness and the readiness to take advantage of these new circumstances. And uh, that could be if you are uh, hungry for love, well, then your insatiable hunger is going to be fed here with the Ace of Cups because this problem will become completely irrelevant to you. If you are hungry for job, well, the same thing happens here, okay? So a job opportunity comes around, for example, that's uh, completely satiate your hunger for it and makes your uh, problems of being jobless completely irrelevant. And uh, with the Ace of Cups, uh, these new circumstances, if one takes advantage of them, once again, you need to show that mental awareness and strength so that card takes place. If one takes advantage of them, 
of them, it transcends their reality into a much more worthwhile type of life and much more a, a, exhilarate, a exhilarating experience as well. In other words, you are, you are to be gifted with happiness here, guys. And it will be such a shame if you deny that, do not want to recognize it, and you miss that. It's a golden opportunity here, Libra. I don't know how to name it the other way around. Okay. So how people are going to uh, look at you, what kind of an you know, impression you're going to leave into the people around. We do have the King of Cups. So King of Cups, it is that typical, uh, very calm person that does not show any emotions toward either bad or good things that are coming around. For one reason, it is that they they don't want to be read. Okay, the, the they don't want people to know what they are going through. And for the other reason, it is that so they can take the most well-found and balanced decision out there. So uh, with uh, this standpoint that you are going to give into the people around, it is highly unlikely that you are to be pressured. Okay, but also it will be very difficult for those around you to guess what you want. And that could be very um, kind of like threatening and menacing in terms of, a, for example, reconciliations or relationships in general, uh, if you want to make a relationship, because the other person will have difficult time to guess, do you really want uh, the relationship to happen or do you really want the reconciliation to happen or you are completely indifferent to it? So with the King of Cups, it is very important that if you feel something towards someone or toward an, an enterprise to show it. That is a mandatory here. So uh, these, um, these people, for example, know where you are going to and what you want to do moving forward into the future. And in generally, so they can, they can help you, all right? So they can do their part into the endeavor. And the last one that we do have it is the guidance for you, Libra, and that is to be the King of Swords. So uh, not very good one. It is because the King of Swords, it kind of urges you to do what works for you. OK, and it, it's not good because uh, it kind of gives a hint here or it suggests, I would say, that for some of you Libras, this opportunity that comes around, it may not work for you. I mean, it's going to work out but it may not be something that you would want. So it will differentiate from your goal, let's say. It will differentiate from your understanding of happiness, for example, or being successful in your career. Nonetheless, it will be extremely gaining for opportunity. The other thing that the King of Swords is advising you to do, it is that before you decide what kind of actions you're gonna take, either in direction of this um, of these new circumstances in these new uh, revelations that you're gonna um, come up to or you will decide to be uh, unyielding you will decide to be stubborn and you will decide that your ego works more than your happiness you have to before you take actions in either of the direction you have to put everything through a careful analysis and if you do so the way out of future difficulties for you is to be revealed and not just only that but whatever plans you do they can be e executed very very effectively so that being said guys uh this was your weekly tarot reading february 17th to february 23rd 2020 hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, we're going to see each other next time hopefully until then bye